FAA has just given a key and long-awaited approval to that 50-mile drone test corridor stretching from Rome to Syracuse. News Channel Line's Jeff Golikowski tells us why it's important for our area and the entire industry. When the FAA just granted approval to fly unmanned aerial systems, UAS or drones, in a smaller four-mile by eight-mile corridor near Rome, it instantly took what has been concept for years and made it reality. New Air has conducted about 2,500 longer-distance flights in that same corridor for months, but always required to have people watching the drones every step of the way. But New Air proved to the agency they don't have to anymore. We have validated that the infrastructure with the radars, our technology to see and avoid uh, non-cooperative general aviation, and then to have the, communica the communications, navigation, and surveillance o over these distances as possible. Companies from around the globe will eventually come flooding into the area looking to use this corridor to test their drones for things like package deliveries. But Hertzendorf says the state, which has invested heavily in the corridor, may be the first to benefit from it like first responders. Let's say there's a traffic accident and the policeman's having a you know, hard time getting to the scene, the roads are all blocked. Well, he can launch that UAS. It could quickly get overhead. It could do a very quick survey of the scene. Hertzendorf says getting the approval from the FAA for this first section is absolutely critical to unlocking approval for the rest of the 50-mile corridor from the Mohawk Valley out here to the Syracuse area. We are finalizing the infrastructure and we're flight checking all of the radars. And while Hertzendorf says he's proud of what his team has accomplished so far, success is not about what you did yesterday. He says success is about what you're going to do tomorrow. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Now, the 8 by 4 mile section of airspace that was approved for these flights is between Griffiths International Airport in Rome and the state's preparedness training center in Oruscany.